guys, this is Whitney Q here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about MAC lipsticks. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because um, it's like I've just recently discovered how lovely lipsticks are. I never ever used to wear lipsticks. I used to think that I looked stupid in them. Um, I, I just used to think that it just didn't suit me. And I used to like be envious of other like lovely ladies wearing lipsticks. I'm like, I want to look like that. So um, I'm sure there's other girls that like feel this used to feel like still feel the same the way I used to feel. So I just wanted to like give some tips and like how to get into lipstick and become more confident in wearing lipstick. So my friends suggested that I start with nude lipstick. So um, I started out with this color. If I can find it, Toupe or Toupe, 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 Toupe. I don't know. T A U P E T P, and it's um, a nude color. So I started off with this color, and it was really, really nude. And um, it was like I didn't have anything on my lips, kind of, but um, I was really comfortable with it, which was the most important thing about it. That's what I think it was that I was scared that I would look really stupid with colors, kind of thing. Um, I had a phobia against pink and red lipsticks, and it's ironic because I wear red lipstick now. So yeah, this is the one that I started off with. So if you want to start wearing with lipsticks, so you feel like you don't have the confidence to start wearing with lipsticks, or you think you wanna like rubbish, nude is just a color that can start you off basically that's what i'm trying to say and what i started doing with this lipstick is i started using different lip liners with it so this one's called mahogany right there i'm not sure if you can see it but it's called mahogany and it's a kind of darkish reddish like a dark yeah like a dark red um lipstick and um i found that it gave it a little bit of a tint of color so you can use nude lipsticks with different lip liners to kind of like bring it off a bit with just a little bit of color okay to kind of get you started off with the whole color thing so that's what i did to pay <laughs> So the next lipstick I'm going to be talking about is called Speak Louder and um, this is a pink colour. I personally haven't worn this out like just like worn it out. I've only worn it when um, I tried it on in the, uh, in the Mac store and um, I just left it on for the rest of the day but I haven't personally worn it out so it's pretty much new. So this is Speak Louder. It's a lovely lovely pink colour. I was scared of pink. I used to think that it would make me look really really stupid but and um, when i tried it on the right store my friend was like you actually look really cute kind of thing so i was like okay let me just get it i'll get it um but um yeah like i'm yet to wear it out i will wear it out when the weather is a bit better it's a bit rubbish at the moment so i will wear it out but it does speak louder it's quite it's a hot pink but not so hot it's not like fusion when it's like really in your face so um yeah i would recommend that if you want to start with pink you can do it as a pale pink i tried with the pale pinks but it didn't really look right on me um so but everyone's different but um this is just my suggestions of what lipsticks i've started out with so um yeah speak louder <laughs> The last one I'm going to be talking about is what I have currently on now, which is Ruby Roo. Everyone knows about Ruby Roo. It kind of just suits everyone. It's such a beautiful colour. It is quite dry. It's really like matte. There's no moisture in it really. So you have to make sure that you moisture your lips before you wear this. But I love it. It's absolutely stunning. And um, if when this runs out, I will be going back to be getting more. Um, I think I just love it. It's just I don't know. I just love it. I just feel like minimal uh, makeup, popping lips, like bright lips, and I think Ruby really, really does do that for you. Um, yeah, um, I loved it. I was like, wow, that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited that like I'm finally going over my favorite lipstick. So I'm just this message out to all the any other girl out there that thinks that lipstick won't suit them. I think lipsticks are for everyone now. Okay, Lena told me this before. I thought she was chatting rubbish. I was like, you have not seen me on lipstick. I don't know, ridiculous. But um, another thing about important wearing lipstick is your lip liner. Don't just wear the lipstick and just hope that you look good. Like, lip liners are very important. So this is some two lip liners here. Just line your lips. It just makes it really neat, and it just really makes it good and you can feel it as well. You can kind of change the outlook of the lipstick with the lip liner. So. 
so, so yeah that's all my message about lipsticks and um, here's a picture of me like ruby ruby you know you've seen me look at this ruby but here's pictures anyway what's that on that beat oh. oh. Thank you for watching my video. Um, if you like the earrings that I've got in my ear, I make them myself. These ones are actually sold at Neiman Heritage, but I make them myself and I've got loads more. I've got different types. So if you go to retailersboutique.etsy.com, I'll put all the links below so you can just click on it. And thank you for watching. I hope you all have a lovely week. Bye.